Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Magic, Witchcraft, and Occultism. This episode is supplementary, and uh, before I start to explain what this episode is, I'm going to just show you the first big change, at, and I found a way to solve a lot of my problems. So, watch this. Ta-da! Okay. I have five things to go over. I'm going to try to do this reasonably quickly. This video is only supplementary. Number one, most obvious, you can see me better. You can see the books better. I have a lot more light. Why? Because I have this sheet behind me. This sheet is going to help me do a couple things. Uh, number one, it allows me to make these videos during the day because I've been chasing the sun this whole time. And I can only make these videos at night because I have a lot of light or enough light that comes in here where it doesn't allow me to make these videos during the day because you can see what's behind me, which is my apartment and a refrigerator. And no one wants to see a refrigerator, especially in these kind of videos. The second thing is the sheets helping me with the sound distortion. Now, I know the sound quality of my voice is probably not perfect. Um, and I have tried to make uh, fixes to that, such as I have another camera, another phone, um, microphone. Oops. <laughs> Um, but I can't get it to work with my computer, and I don't know why. And I have a few friends that are pretty tech savvy, and they can't figure it out either. So uh, it's not that I haven't tried. It's that everything I've tried has failed up until this point. So this sheet's going to help the sound quality. Now, what do I mean by the sound quality? My voice is still iffy, depending on the episode. It's helping with the white noise. Because, uh, as I told you, I live in a basement, so I have a boiler that turns on from time to time and then I have to wait for it to shut off and if I don't notice it the microphone doesn't know one way or the other so that's number two so I've increased the lighting so you can see me better and I've increased the sound quality as best I can so if you can tell me if you don't hear the white noise in the background anymore I'd really appreciate that so please mention that in the comment section below otherwise I'm just guessing and uh, I might repeat myself a little in this video uh, the next thing is I'm learning to use the editing software better to also uh, just remove any sound uh, quality problems to the best of my ability. Uh, and the fourth thing is um, why is my video on the subconscious mind so ridiculously late? Well, it goes back to the sound problems I've been having. I've, I've recorded the video five times and deleted it five times because I can hear the sound distortion. Either my voice is too high or too low, or, um, and then if my voice gets too high, it'll crackle and it creates horrible sound distortion. And no one wants to hear that. And uh, the white noise I can hear at different points. And if I can hear it, you can hear it. So that's another reason. Uh, and the fifth reason what this video, so the, uh, the other thing I was gonna talk about is that the last time I wrote the subconscious mind was 10 years ago. And I've learned a lot since then. And I had to update the script, uh, the book, and I had to update my script. And that took a little while. That took actually a lot of time, actually. Uh, the bulk of my time was spent writing. I spent three, three and a half hours a day for about a month, which is about 98, 100 hours. And that doesn't count the editing and all the times I've recorded and deleted it on repeat. Because I am trying to really make these videos the best I can. And, uh, I'm, I'm working with a curve. So, as I said before, if I've improved the overall sound quality and video quality of the video, please tell me. Please write that in the comments section below. I'd really appreciate some actual functioning feedback. I really would. Um, I think that's it. Um, oh, last one. I'm also taking suggestions of anything I can do to fill in when I have these long gaps. Uh, the problem with the book reviews is I like doing them and people really enjoy them. The problem is, for example, finding the pictures for these books. No matter what book I use, I have to still find the pictures. So my question to you is this. Do you mind if I just take a picture of the book now and sometimes can have glare because otherwise I have to just pick the book up and turn it around and 
I don't generally don't like that. But if you don't mind me doing that, uh, I could do a book review just about every day for the next year or two and not run out of anything because I have read most of these. I like to have two or three books that I haven't read yet sitting on the shelf. So uh, I, don't, I don't have to go ahead and get a new one. I already have it. So there's a few books here I haven't read in its, their entirety, but most of them I have. And uh, some of these books are also just reference books. To give you an example of that, um, this one's really in there tight. This book's on animals. It's not like a normal book. And if you can find this book in Barnes and Nobles or something, get it. Ta-da! Why do I have this? Well, when you're studying books, when you're studying cryptozoology, or uh, if you're looking for a specific crypto in a specific area, for example, you want to go through process of elimination of what it could be. So this book will give you a description of where it is in the world by a little picture, um, and a small description of the animal, and sometimes its uh, habitat and its environment, and um, what it eats, what it's hunted by, uh, mating calls, all, all sorts of different things. So this is what I call a reference book. This is not one of these kind of books that you're going to read straight through. You're only going to read on the sections you need when you're looking things up. So when I tell you I haven't read all of them, that's what I mean. Sometimes some of these books are only used for reference material. And this book barely fits on my bookshelf. And I mean just barely. Whatever. I'll put it back later. But that's the point uh, when I say I haven't read them all. So, uh, as usual, I wish you all the very best of luck with your research and go in peace.